Hi kids, it's Miss Penrice again. And we are still working on our eggs. We've got a dozen to do and we're up to number six and seven today. So number six, let's see what's in. Oh, there's several things in this egg. So this is an example of a crown, right? A crown. This, can you see it? Oh yeah, I took that off my rose bush. You don't want to stick your finger in that, right? I get picked up all the time when I'm gardening. And this is a little bit longer thorn. Yeah, so during the night, between Thursday night and Friday night, um, they, they wanted Jesus to say he wasn't God. And of course, Jesus wasn't going to say that. Um, the, the leaders and Pilate decided, well, if Jesus is really God, maybe he'll save himself and he won't have to die. But that wasn't God's plan because God's amazing plan was to save sinners by allowing his son Jesus to die on the cross for them. And yet people chose to not believe Jesus and to reject him. You know, sometimes people tell you that they don't believe that Jesus is God or they don't believe there is a God. And we should, we should never believe people when they say that because we know that Jesus is God and we know there is a God who created us and created the whole world. And we should never be mean or treat somebody badly just because other people do. That's what was happening to Jesus. All of these people started to treat him badly and then other people started to treat him badly. The Roman guards did not love God. They rejected Jesus as God. They said, nope, he's not God. They teased and they taunted and they hit him and they beat him and they made a crown out of sharp thorns and they put it on Jesus' head. Now I have a real crown here to show you. Somebody made this a long time ago for our Sunday school department. And sometimes in the month of April, we just hang it up and leave it there so we can see what it was like. The person who made it had to go out in the field and he had to get some vines that had these big sharp thorns on them. He had to wear really heavy gloves to make this. This is the kind of crown of thorns that they put on Jesus' head and they didn't just set it on lightly, no. After the beating and the whipping, they put that crown of thorns on his head and shoved it down so it was so it would hurt so much and his head would bleed. Um, they put it on Jesus' head, they kneeled before him, and they teased by shouting, Hail, King of the Jews, but well, they didn't really believe he was the king. And they spit on him and they took a big long reed, a big stick, and they beat him on the head, and then they just took this crown and they crushed it right into Jesus' head, caused him to bleed very bad. And still Jesus showed the love of God by forgiving them and praying for them. So there's my crown of thorns. There's the little one. That's number six. Now we're going to see what's in number seven. Okay. Now you will recognize this. Right? Maybe the nails in those days looked a little more like this. Don't really know. That's somebody's idea of maybe what the nails look like. What are the nails used for again? Do we know? Oh yes, the nails. Why did Jesus have to die? He died so our sins could be forgiven and we could live forever with God. Romans 3, it says that all have sinned and are sh come short of the glory of God. Way back in the beginning, God created Adam and Eve and gave them freedom to choose. And where, when they were given the choice to obey God, they chose to disobey God. I'm gonna tell you more about that part of the story another time. But Adam and Eve were separated from God and sin came into the world. Now, I have another nail to show you. This one is a big one. So somebody was working on my house a week ago and they left a few nails outside that big. So think about a nail like that. And they were going to fasten Jesus to a cross using the nails. So a cross made of two, two pieces of wood, cross beam like that. And when they got to the place where they were going to crucify him, they nailed his hands and his feet and they put nails, big, thick, hard nails. Now, even a little nail 
you wouldn't really want to poke that into your skin too much, would you? Think about what the big nails felt like. God does not sin. He is perfect and holy, and Jesus is God, and God hates sin. But God the Father provided a way of escape for, the, for us being punished by our sin by sending his son Jesus. And Jesus received the death that sinners like us deserve. So you think about the nails, think about my big long nail. I should think about what happened on Friday morning, the day that we call Good Friday. Jesus was nailed to the cross with nails and it would hurt a lot. It would be really sad. And there were people watching him uh, his mother and other people were watching and they were very, very, very sad when they saw Jesus. We are very sad when we think about the fact that Jesus went through that kind of pain for us, for our sin. But the good part is still ahead. It's coming. So you stay tuned. We'll be back again another day.